it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here with a video. Kind of it's not really a thank god it's finished. It's kind of a bunch of gluttony. <laughs> if you do not like haul videos or sharing of um, new yarn videos, this is probably one that you want to skip over because I am just back from Rhinebeck. Oh, I forgot something else downstairs. I am just back from Rhinebeck and my vacation and visits and I was completely spoiled and I also bought some things and I'm going to share the madness, madness in the good way, with all of you. So if that's not your cup of tea, go ahead and move on to the next video, which the next video is going to be um, Margaret's visit slash Rhinebeck, Road to Rhinebeck Retreat um, recap and highlights and stuff like that and pictures and all, you know, the sappy vi video I make every year. Well, I make whenever anybody visits. So, um, I think I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, we went to, Margaret came, um, we went to Knit Night and we went to a couple places around where I live. And then Terry and Zoe came, and then Margaret left, and Fernanda and Margaret, Maureen a lot arrived. I'm sorry, I am nursing a head cold. I always get a cold after vacation, so I may sound a little bit nasally, and I may cough, but I will do my best not to. And then Fernanda, Maureen... Zoe and Terry all left on the same day after we went to Rhinebeck and a new LYS to me and Knit Night and everywhere. Oh, webs. Never forget webs. Whew. That's staying in there. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I'm just going to get started. So... Margaret came and Margaret gave Kristen, I should have brought it up, there's a bunch of stuff I've forgotten, but that's okay, the cutest little tea diffuser that's a, a man sitting on the, the edge of the cup that looks like he's in a hot tub and some loose leaf teas, which was awesome. Um, she's been thoroughly enjoying that. And she also gave us a can of bold peanuts, which we have yet to try. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh, she gave us these awesome soup mugs that have a little thing on the end to put your saltine crackers in. Really awesome. I'm sick, so maybe we'll be breaking those bad boys in today. She also gave me these awesome Batman pens. My pen just died, so I'm very much looking forward to using those. And she gave me a little sheepy, 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 sheepy. He's wearing frog slippers isn't he just the cutest bear with me this is we've gotten a new computer and I've gotten a few comments that I'm moving things too quickly so this is a learning curve for me I'm trying my best and I'm going to try and go slower so here's the little sheep there's his profile and his little froggy slippers He's adorable, and the dog's already tried to steal him from me, so he's going to sit up there for now. Not sure if that'll be his permanent home. Um, this is going to go in absolutely no order, because I just have a pile of stuff. Over the weekend, we had some um, swaps planned. Uh, we had a bag swap. Not everybody participated in all of them, and not everybody followed the rules. So we had a bag swap, a hometown swap, a postcard swap, a stitch marker swap. I didn't take part in that one. Um, a mini, did I say mini skeins? A mini skein swap, a Christmas ornament swap, 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 swap. Lots of swaps. So one of the things I got was this cute little pencil case, which I'm going to use for notions, and it was jam-packed full of UK stuff, some of which has already been um, put to use. There's some playing cards, an adorable um, progress keeper, 
I love this. It's going to go on our keys. A little Union Jack car. And this is going to go on the fridge. The magnet. Adorable. So we got that. Everybody got that. Um, someone brought this. And it's a kit to knit. I'm assuming the mittens on the front. See, it comes with this and all the yarn. And I've been into color work lately, even though I think I really suck at it. <gasps> I really am not very good at it. Um, this is all the minis. Mini, minis, minis, more minis. So those, I'm going to have to get my blanket out again and work on that. Maureen brought this awesome frame. I'm going to get a pic one of the pictures of all of us, probably the one of us on the hill, um, printed and put this up on our mantle. Love that. Uh, I also received this awesomeness. Meerkat Batman, limited edition. Um, it's, um, Terry brought this. He said they get free gifts when they get their insurance. Our insurance doesn't do that, but it's so cute. He's going to go up there too, but i got to find, rearrange some things to make some room for him. So did I go too fast? I am trying my best, like I said, new camera. I guess he doesn't need to go back in the box anymore because the dogs aren't up here. Bags. Uh, we got these adorable bags from Maureen, who is more designs. I think it's... I'll try and remember to link it down below. So mine was a sock monkey, and inside was embroidered Rhinebeck Retreat 2016. And she was very sweet. She made one for Kristen too, which Kristen has pulled her knitting back out. So maybe I'll get my hat this year. Um, show this. I, I'm just going by order of the pile. I pre-ordered another hoodie t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. It's huge right now because I haven't washed it yet, but the last one was so comfy. Can you see it? I can't see. There's that. I also got Kristen a hooded sweatshirt, tie-dye hooded sweatshirt on the pre-order. Um, I picked up two skeins somewhere of Cascade 220 Sport for more sweaters for Dewey. Um, this color is 8892. It's more of a teal than it's showing. It's showing blue on the screen. It's really a teal. And this green heathered is two four two four five two, and that's pretty true to color on the screen. Um, we got this adorable bag. Love it. It's by Thimble and Thread Make. I almost bought a project bag at Rhinebeck, but I don't think I would have been allowed back in my house. Um, in the bag swap, I got this bag, which is by Bags by Awesome Granny. It's really cute, and it also came with this little notions bag inside. And I wanted to show you on the end, it had this ring that says love, which I think is so sweet. So sweet. We also got a mug with the Road to Rhinebeck image on it, this image. Um, but those have already been used and are in the dishwasher waiting to be put away. Inside this bag... Um, is housing a bunch of stuff from random different places. There's this hearty stitch marker in pink. A Simply More Crafts tape measure with some tea. T 
tea pot tape measure. I don't know if there's actually tea in, no, I don't think so, but it's so cute. Um, Thimble and Thread Make on Etsy, YouTube, and Instagram. There is a Hedgehog Project Progress Keeper. I need some more coffee so I don't cough. Oh, we got Maple Hard Candies from Connecticut. These adorable Herdy Stitch Markers, which I absolutely love. I have some Herdy Mugs that uh, Sarah Hepworth sent us a couple Christmases ago. I'm kind of obsessed, in case you haven't noticed. I'm sure you have noticed with all things sheep. Herdy Pin for my Button Monster. Oh, I forgot about these. Thimble and Thread Makes. Um, Harry Potter Stitch Markers. Doo -doo. We got this button at Webbs. Back away from the acrylic. I may already have it. I didn't buy any buttons at Rhinebeck. I didn't even look at them because I can't remember which ones I have. Oh, this is cute. A homespun house stitch marker with a planet on it. Uh, this adorable bookmark. Kristen got one too with sheep on it, which I'll probably steal from her, if I'm being honest. <laughs> More candy. That's a gift. We love a Medica pin. And I think I already have this one, too. But I, like I said, I'm not sure. This is from Webs. Housework is for people who don't knit. Man, that was, that's what was in this little, what I put in this Notions bag. And now I guess I'll show you. Oh, I got this. Mustache, Must Love Yarn is a store in... Shelburne, Vermont, which may become my new LYS because my LYS is sadly closing at the end of the month. Sadly for me, but for a good reason. It's not closing because of the economy or anything like that. It's closing because Karen is um, moving south to care for her parents. So Muscle of Yarns may become my new LYS, and they were at Rhinebeck, and I said hello to them, and they gave me a pin. They also gave me... A tape, a tape measure, a ruler. So those will go on my button monster. Oh. At my OIS, I picked up two sets of Jagu needles. To I'm trying to collect. I have all thick circulars in 16 inch in high high sharps. Now I'm getting trying to collect all the sizes in Chaigu in 32 inch and I think I only have two more to I might need a seven and then I need a ten I'm not gonna go above a ten um ornament swap which I left Maureen made these gorgeous crocheted thread crocheted ornaments one is a bell that actually rings I'll next time I make a TGIF video I'll remember to bring them upstairs because I have to put them away anyway um yeah, so a bell with a there's an actual bell inside it that so it rings and snowflake they're gorgeous Zoe made this adorable little ball and Terry made these cute little elf people look at that even the ribbon hand knitted they're so cute so those will go on my tree this year now, now we're in the yarn. I'm not going to show you the postcards. Now we're in the yarn. Let's start with what I purchased, which is not much. Um, Bl Blue Moon Socks That Rock. Well, this isn't Socks That Rock. This is Blue Moon Fiber Arts Cloud 9. It's 80% Superwash Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, 450 yards. 
and it's called A Speck of Winter Solstice. And this is to make a pair of socks for Kristen, who was not able to join us at the New York Sheep and Wool. And it's beautiful and so soft. So soft. Kristen really loves cashmere in her socks, and she's worth it. So Those will be, in, will be cast on very soon. As soon as I finish the socks I'm working on. The other thing I purchased for myself, I tried to get last year, is Gail's Art Wonder Sock, 465 yards, 75.25. It's BFL nylon. And it's in the color Graffiti, which I was not able to get last year. But I love it. I have no clue, no earthly clue what I'm going to do with this. It'll likely become socks. Because I, I can't imagine I would wear it as a shawl, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I need more coffee, I'm sorry. Um, I also splurged and went to Jenny the Potter. I knew I wasn't going to get a mug. But I got some stitch markers, and I'll just show you. Isn't that cute? Hopefully you can see that, because I can't stop shaking. So there are four with that design in different colors, and then one with this design. Oh my god, I can't stop shaking. They're adorable. Definitely the most I've ever spent on stitch markers, but... I've always wanted something Jedney the Potter, and they came in this cute little jar. Terry got this at, at one of the places he purchased from and gave that to me. That'll go in my notions bag. Can never have too many tape measures. Into the World was our... Into the World was our first stop. And... I got a skein... Uh, Rhinebeck and the hand painted Pukoku sock, something like that, which is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, 460 yards. And this is the yarn. Maybe I should hold it like this so you can see that green. Um, someone said to me, it looks like fall threw up in the best way possible, and it does. I believe everything else in here is for somebody else, so that's what I purchased at Rhinebeck. Three skeins of yarn for myself and some stitch markers. Not too bad considering what I purchased last year, but I still have quite a bit left. So, next up... Kristen was gifted this skein of yarn. It's Woolcraft Superwash Sock Yarn. Um, and she is going to, when she finishes her hat, this is what prompted her to start knit that, and it got cold. It's 80 degrees today, but it's getting cold. Um, when she finishes her sock, she's going to use those teeny tiny gold Godzilla needles and attempt a pair of socks. So that's Kristen's. Um, 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 this yarn was given to me at Rhinebeck by Laura the Crochet Hoovian. I can't remember the brand of yarn, but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I bought this at Webb's, thinking it was beach glass. It's not beach glass. I think it's Philly. So I'm still on the hunt for Cascade Heritage in Beach Glass. Anybody knows where to get it, please let me know. Webs didn't have it. Um, I got this at Webs. It's Rowan Pure Wool Superwash DK 50 grams. There's another skein of the blue somewhere to make a colorwork hat that I have um, the pattern for. It's Tup's Knit. And these are smaller skeins, 50 grams, uh, 137 yards. So there's that. Oh, my feet are falling asleep. 
Mighty Spiffy Sock, 80% BFL, 20% nylon, and charcoal stripe fleck. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some West Yorkshire spinners to go with two skeins of this, which the other one is here somewhere, which is, oh, Gumi Sock. I love Gumi Sock. We can't get it. My LYS doesn't carry it anymore. This color is, uh, something wan. No, that's not even wan. So, there's that. Nice, nice, nice. I hope I'm going slow enough. Here's, nope. Opal Sweet and Spicy 3 in the Kiwi color. I've been coveting this for a while. Uh, Homespun House, which I've never had before. This is called Good Sparkle Fingering in Metamorphosis. It's 75%. Superwash, Merino, my foot's asleep. 20% nylon, 5% gold, Selena, 438 yards. Really beautiful. This will be a shawl. I don't do sparkle in my socks because um, when you have dogs, you constantly think it's dog hair and try to pick it out. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Oh, my foot is asleep. 21 minutes in and my foot's asleep. And I still have a lot to show you. Oh, here's the other skein of blue. Rounding out my collection of, I now have every color of the West Yorkshire spinners and the self-striping is the holly berry. I'm so excited. I want to cast these on like yesterday. You know, I might do heels and toes in this, too. Because then I could probably get a pair for Kristen and a pair for myself because I have smaller feet. I, w I have tiny feet. We'll see. Okay, I'm stop moving. Stop moving, Erin. Stop moving. All right. One more thing in this bag, and then there's one other bag. This is Heritage Prince. I had never seen this color before. I do not know what the name colorway is, but it's color eight. And I got this at HodgePodge Yarns in Newport, New Hampshire. I liked it. I thought it was a little different. Pretty. I don't think I have this one. Nope. My sock yarn, like my balls of sock yarn are next to me, not, not um, Hank's. Okay, one more bag. Which is still a lot. Okay, two skeins of this. Uh, Regia Design Line, which I have a pair of socks in Regia Design Line. Uh, Calf Bassett, I think that's how you say his name. This is Kristen Nichols. And I, I love the Calf Bassett socks, so there's that. There's one caked and one in the ball. These are fun. Fun, 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 till the daddy takes a T-bird away. Oh, what colorway is that? That's color number 3311. And in the same line, colorway 3312, these are both caked. Pretty, 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 pretty. I think Kristen might like these. There's a little bit of pink in it, but I think enough that she would like them. Okay, this I almost bought at Rhinebeck. It is Lana Grossa, and I think the colorway is Bali. Pinks and blacks and grays and whites. Here is the color. And this is 80% wool, 20% polyamide or nylon. So nice, like that. Here's the other skein of Gumi. This is from Maureen, and there's another skein of this. 
um, that my niece asked if she could have one, and I said yes. I have more than enough. And I didn't think that Maureen would mind me sharing. It's Ice Yarn Super Sock. 75% superwash, 25% polyamide, which is nylon. Um, no colorway on it or anything. Pretty. I think this is going to be one of those self-striping, self-patterning yarns. And we're at the bottom. Oh. Sample of Soak Scentless, which is great because I can't do scent. And last but not least is Young Yarns. Is there a colorway? Oh, Rainbow Gray Stripes. 75% superwash, 25% nylon, 425 yards. Look at that. And a mini ball for heels and toes. Could it be more perfect? I think not. So that is the crazy haul. Gifts, swaps, etc. from Rhinebeck. Insanity. Um I was yarn full. That's how I describe it. I just don't feel like I need anything. So I was yarn full before Rhinebeck, and now maybe I might be yarn obese now. <laughs> my my yarn stash mass matches my body type. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, I had a great, 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 great weekend week. It was really a week and a half because Margaret arrived on Sunday and everybody stayed until the following Monday. It was just a great time. And I hope you like the video I put together next. And I hope you like what I shared with you. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I answer them as quickly as I can, which is usually slow. Um, but I do answer them. And, yeah. I'm definitely stable. Stash, acquisition, beyond life expectancy. I'm looking around the studio, and there's just so much yarn. It's awesome. But I feel a little guilty. I do feel a little guilty. So, uh, giveaway video will be coming up soon, and this is your last chance to sign up for Secret Santa. I am for sure closing the signups on Friday, because I haven't signed up yet. <laughs> I've been so busy. Um, I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.